Good afternoon everyone. This is Celso Batalha and I would like to explore the discussion, the second discussion on what is your astrological sign? And I just review your posts and Aidan was the only one who mentioned procession procession of equinox. So look at this. If somebody is born on March twenty first, two thousand fifteen, so where is the sun located? What is the constellation the sun is visiting on March twenty first, two thousand fifteen? So you can all 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 read here areas, right? Except. Look at the date here, March 21st, 2015 BC. That's a long time ago. So, if somebody is born now on March 21st, 2015 AD, which is now, right? So, kind of this year, was born already, so it's a little baby. Um, it, it's a Pisces, so the sun is visiting Pisces. So the diagram that I ask you to take a look, oh, wait a second, what is it, right here. So this diagram, it's good but it's not perfect, it has some problem. For instance, um, if you have a date, uh, 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 your birth date is somewhere here, you should be fine. But you see, uh, they crumb three months in the same angle in the same division in the same space which which means it doesn't make sense so this diagram is not exactly correct so some of you might have attempted to really um, get your astrological or astronomical sign um, and, and didn't get it right so just because it's fun and because um, some of you although in the previous discussion, the majority, 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 so they all said, oh, astrology is a pseudoscience, right? You all said that. Um, I think a couple of students or three students mentioned religion, um, the same number mentioned science, but the majority is a pseudoscience based on false statements and shouldn't give a lot of credence. But when you read the comments, it seems that lots of us, although it's a pseudoscience, right? Lots of us is still kind of a, yeah, you know, I, I am that. <laughs> I'm my Aries, and, I, and it's, it's amazing how it matched my characteristics. So you can see that a lot. So just in attention to all of you, and I think it's fun, um, I would like to show to all of you who post um, within the due date, June 21st, uh, your astronomical sign. If some of you was not included here, just email me and I can give that to you. So I'm not going to use this um, chart. I'm going to use a software that provides with good precision the position of the sun uh, throughout the year and uh, so let's do that and by the way um, I'm gonna have the year 2015 it really doesn't matter if it's, if it's 2000 uh, 1950 or so because the sun doesn't move that much um, all through these years okay and when I say move is a is a bad expression because what's really happening is Earth axis of um, axis of rotation is processing, uh, in which is a slow conical motion, due to the combined tug, the gravitational tug of uh, Sun and Moon on Earth bulging equator, and then we have this um, precession that takes about twenty six thousand years to, to complete, and that's. That's why every 3,000 years or so, uh, the sun change its astrological house. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna go through um, through the answers. Let's see, that's the first one. 
right here, twenty first. Um, September, September first, September first. So Anu Don Domini, let's go to September first. September 1st, the sun is in Leo. Uh, April 3rd. April 3rd. And the sun is in Pisces. The other one, November 4th, and the sun is in Libra. April 12 and the sun is or was in Pisces about September 8th Sun was in Leo. That's the real position of the sun against the sky. And October 28th, October 28th, oops, and 28th. And the sun was in Virgo kind of uh, going to Libra to library. Okay, 28 and now how about November 2nd? Didn't we do November 2nd? Probably not. November 2nd. Oops, November... November 2nd. Libra! Uh, where are you? Where are we? April second. April second. Pisces. February twelfth. February 12th and Capricornius how about December 30th December December 30th and we are Sagittarius about oh February it didn't give the date exactly okay February I'm gonna put 15 just to come up with a date February 15 Aquarius probably no Capricornia well, it's right there in the middle, huh? You pick. Um, another one. Um, how about July 5th? A bunch of people in July. Where am I going? Okay, July 5th. They say they are cancer. 
but it's Gemini. about August 22nd no 21st 22nd is my my daughter she's on August 22nd she claims she's a she's a Leo so let me see what where the Sun was when she was born Leo August 22nd she's a Leo yeah about how about January 12th January 12th January 12th and we are in uh, where is the Sun Sagittarius so you, you might be seeing that some of you some of your uh, dates might be completely different, right? So it's one house off, as expected. November 3rd, I think we did November 3rd already, let's, or November 2nd, perhaps. November 2nd. Uh, Libra. January. No, November 3rd. Was that November 3rd? No, yeah, November 3rd. November 3rd. Yeah, so Libra, no difference. And January 12th. Oops, sorry. January 12th. Sagittarius and December twenty nine. We did December thirtieth. Shouldn't be different. December twenty nine. And it's gonna be in Sagittarius. There you go. And let's go to the next page, and we are almost done. How about November 5th? So now we have some claims. So if somebody comes with you with astrology and try to, you know, to get you a hookup, you can talk about, you know, uh, the session of Equinox, go read in a book. the right one November 5th it is a uh, Libra and June 16 June 16 but if you want to pay me $300 I can I can find where all the planets were the date you were born. <laughs> $200. Taurus! And where are we? March 2nd. March 2nd. March. Oops, too much. March 2nd. Wrong way. Um, there you go. Aquarius. And where is it? Where are we? December 3rd. December, December, December 3rd. We did one close. And where is the sun? In Ophiuchus! Oh, yes, the astronomers need that. The astronomers um, 
broke down Sagittarius and Scorpius and they rearranged the border and they introduced Ophiuchus in the zodiac. So according to modern astronomy there are 13 constellations across the sun's path in the sky. So not 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 well. So but probably in olden days you would claim the sun being in Scorpio, right? If you don't include of Eucharist in there. Okay. So you can say December Delaney Brown, you can say oh ho ho I'm a of Eucharist. <laughs> you can you can come up with any any if you wanna make fun and have a good time, you say, hey, no, I'm not Libra, I'm not any, I'm off Ophiuchus. And as an off Ophiuchus, I have this special trait. And then you can say anything, anything that makes you happy. All right, did I miss anyone? I'm getting tired of doing this. July 10th, and probably none of you are going to check that. But I'm now I'm going to do a as fast as I can, uh, July 10th, and the sun is in Gemini, not in Cancer, as you thought you would be. How about, well, why did I write, ha ha ha, since I figure out how the description will, oh, my life was a lie. <laughs> okay, April 22nd, April 22nd. What are you in April 22nd? April 22nd. Aries. Okay, so obviously the, 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 the assumption of astrology as being able to influence people makes no sense. Astronomically speaking, it makes no sense. Uh, let me show you. I'm afraid my, my software might freeze because I have been um, moving a lot. So the sky, as we see here, the sky we are seeing right here, um, it is what we observe. And, and the fact the constellations have some, some arrangement in the sky, the stars have some arrangement. And ancient civilizations ascribe powers to these stars because they thought they represent gods and they were gods but now you know and you are studying those stars they are at different distance with different distributions and they are moving and if you if technology allows our bodies to be freezed for let's say millions of years, a million, of, probably even less than a million of years, and you wake up again, and you see this sky. The sky is going to be completely different. Some stars might not even be there; they might be exploded, and the distribution of them will be different because the stars are moving, and they are so far away. We don't see them moving. We don't perceive their motion with instruments we can, but if you give enough time, they their arrangements will smear out. The Big Dipper is not going to be a Big Dipper anymore. And also any contact that stars have with us is through light and light has a finite speed. So if suddenly um, the closest stars beyond the, our solar system uh, disappear all of a sudden, since it is 4.3 light years away, we will have to wait 4.3 years to see the effect of that light going away. Right? So if there is some almighty God out there that suddenly turn off the entire 300 billion stars in our galaxy, suddenly make them disappear, we will note 
that one of these stars went out, went missing, 4.3 years from now. So if you think our galaxy is 100,000 light years, right? So we have to wait 100,000 years to suddenly all these stars in the sky go away. And they would kind of uh, disappear in, in, in at different times, right? Because they are different distances. So um, we can think, just to, to close the discussion in uh, about astrology, so you can still believe, you, you can make a belief system, you can make astrology as, as a religion, in a sense, which means you believe and you don't want to question your belief system. I don't care for the history of it. I don't care if the Mesopotamians or the Arcadians or whatever group of civilization invented. I know is a, as a fact that astrology works. And I have a friend who says that. He said, well, you know, after talking to you, I, I don't know why I do astrology, but I know it works. He does astrology, he does charts. And he said, I know it works, but I don't know why. So I believe, and then what I tell him is, okay, so astrology is a religion for you. Like uh, some people believe there is a god in a tree, and... And then as you offer some offerings to the tree, that God might make you feel better or might give you something to you. So if it's a religion, it's okay. If it's a science, it's not okay. Because as a science, you have to be able to describe what sort of an influence there is. And, 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 and so since no one can explain why stars or planets would determine how how smart and, and, and good-looking or uh, full of decision or, or you know, tricky, tricky uh, a person is, I don't know what that influence is because I can't, I can't measure. I have no idea. It's an invention. So it can't be scientific. I have a friend who say, well, you know, but we use mathematics. We use computers. Well, the fact that we use mathematics doesn't mean that it's religious, right? Oh, uh, a scientific. You can use mathematics, you know, as a supporting tool, but to be scientific, you have to abide by all the laws on how science works. And uh, you have to verify your statement, it has to be falsifiable as we are learning the book, and all of that. Okay, so we can keep discussing this longer. Uh, three mail, or if you want me to open another post just for discussing this, I can. But it's going to be out of grading and have a great, 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 great weekend.